How do you turn storyboards in a model into a mammoth mountain that will thrill thousands of visitors a day? The perfect example can be found at Walt Disney World's Magic Kingdom. It's called Splash Mountain. It puts you smack dab in the middle of a feud between Br'er Fox and Br'er Rabbit. And then it takes you to the top of the Magic Kingdom and drops you to the watery depths below. It's almost like going through a three-dimensional movie. We've got a beginning, a middle, and an end. And wherever you see the characters in this ride, you see them in their typical poses of their relationships to each other. So the whole story is you're going along. It's, you, know, you go through the happy place. You're singing songs. As you progress through the ride, the mood gets a little bit darker. The music changes. The lights come down. The, the colors get darker. And then all of a sudden, you, you've almost forgotten the fact that you're going to come around the corner and voila, you're going to go up this drop. And you know that something is about to happen. If you've made it this far, it's too late. You're going to go up and you're going to come down. And when you do, it's a heart-stopping, skin-soaking, 52-foot drop. You'll be glad when it's over. Splash Mountain may be the simple story of a wily fox and a curious rabbit, but it was a bear to build. The ride had to be an exact replica of the scale mock-up. So how do you turn a one-inch scale model into an 87-foot mountain? Once that model is done and complete and bought off, we will then take it and divide it up into little cubes, put it in a computer, and do an XY axis CAD drawing off of it. This information is sent to a rebar bending machine. This powerful contraption twists and bends rods of steel into cages that will form the skeletal structure of the mountain. Those cages, and there will be thousands of them, then get shipped to the site where there's a major primary structural steel that's been built, and they get welded onto that steel and a mountain starts to take shape in the form of a frame. Specialized sculptors then take over. A hulking mass of metal is transformed into a whimsical mountain. We come through with lath, plaster, and some of the best artisans in the world come in and sculpt rock work. The finishing touches, paint and plants make the mountain come to life. It may be a mountainous marvel on the outside, but Splash is a mechanical monster on the inside. You have all the normal challenges of building a building. You have air conditioning, you have to have emergency exits, you have to have ways for maintenance people to get around. To make sure we got everything right, we rode that attraction, I think, close to 200 times. And there were times when we were riding it in the middle of the night. And now, inside of this very complicated building, we were able to tell the story of all these characters of the Briar Patch. When it comes to water rides, Disney's Splash Mountain is as good as it gets.